Ciao e bentornati, welcome back to Pillole d'Italiano. L'episodio di oggi è molto particolare, infatti durante i giorni scorsi ho fatto una chiacchierata con quattro persone con cui ho il piacere di lavorare, quattro dei miei clienti, e oggi voi ne conoscerete uno. Siete pronti? Before you dive into this bilingual conversation, keep in mind that any program or service that my client mentioned is linked in the description of this episode below. And so if you want to get more info, simply click on the link and go have fun, explore and reach out if you have questions. All right, and with that being said, ti presento Lane. I don't know how long I've been doing this now, well over a year. Some of the people that are in the class, I feel like they're my friends now, even though I've never personally been with them or shaken their hand or anything, but practicing for an hour, watching them learn and just sharing with them, they've become my friends. I, I have uh, enjoyed that part as much as any other. Iniziare presentandoti una semplice presentazione, just telling us who you are and introduce yourself real quick. Sì. A me chiama uh, Lane, e abito uh, in vicino di San Francisco. Avevo uh, sette cinque anni e uh, sono in, in uh, uh, dimenticare parole, so retired, uh, in, in pensione. Mm -hmm. uh, Ero un uh, professore di uh, computer arte, il arte di uh, film e il arte di foto, fotografia e uh, illustrazione e cartone a San Francisco State uh, University. E anche era, ero un uh, insegnante in una scuola alta, come si dice, high school. Scuola superiore. Scuola superiore in la faccina di uh, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Bene. Quindi adesso tu hai 75 anni, sei in pensione, right? You're retired. Qual è la parte della tua vita uh, corrente, moderna, che ti piace di più? What's the side of your life right now that, you know, gets you going, gets you up in the morning mm -hmm. that you're mostly excited about? Sì, a, a me piace questo tipo di classe di uh, Ludovica perché preferisco il tipo di classe che non è necessario preparo. Per, perché per me, quando vado a Italia, a, alla Italia, non prepare per una conversazione sulla strada mm -hmm. oh, uh, non è realistico uh, preferisco questo tipo di classe perché uh, i, le, le persone in classe discusso le, le loro vite mm -hmm. sì uh, voglio e... giusto precisare una cosa quando dici questo tipo di classe cause... People don't know what we just did right before uh, this little interview. We just had an aperitivo. So it's a conversation-based class. Sì. Per fare conversazione, parlate di quello che volete, parlate delle vostre vite. No preparation needed. Sì. Mm -hmm. Sì. La preparazione non è necessario. Practico il mio italiano in un spazio, un space. Uno spazio. Mm -hmm. Una spazia che non è importante se sì, io faccio uno, uh, uno errore mm -hmm. in la mia grammatica. Uh, lei è sempre corretta, ma non è... <ride> non sono rigida. <ride> <ride> no, sì. No. Uh, It's not that strict. You don't sì. feel... It's a big deal if you make a mistake. Ti senti sì. più libero di sbagliare? Sì. Le, il, il grammatica è importante, ma non è più importante cose uh, di, di questo tipo di classe. Mm -hmm. Sì. E quindi questa è la tua parte preferita della tua settimana all'aperitivo italiano? Is this your favorite part of... I mean, I'm happy if that's the case, but is that your mm. highlight of the week? 
una de las uh, mías uh, cosas preferidas. Ma uh -huh. la otra è il mio sport. Uh -huh. uh, uh, io preferisco uh, water aerobics e uh, come il vogatore, vogatore, sì. sì. vogatore e uh, il cicletta. La cicletta? La cicletta. Mm -hmm. sì. like stationary bike? Sì. Perché la ultima anno scorsa non era uh, possibile per me camminare mm. uh, più di 25 uh, piedi. Più di 25 passi, no more than 25 steps. Sì. Wow. Uh, yeah. Perché la, il mio shake skin. La tua skin on your back. Mm. Sì, il, io ho cinque fratture in, uh, in nella parte, mio... la parte bassa della schiena, I would say sì, sì, mm -hmm. sì. Mm -hmm. uh, ma questa è una, uh, ho fatto molto, molto ore di uh, esercizio. Sulla mattina di Natale ho camminato, camminato due miglia uh, wow. in la vicina del, della mia casa. Benissimo. Uh, so, Complimenti. Grazie. L'esercizio eh, è molto importante me, per, per me. Eh, io piaccio, piace molto e è molto divertente per me. Mm -hmm. Bene, sì, ti piace fare esercizio fisico e ti piace anche fare esercizio mentale, perché sì, sì, sì. italiano. Um, perché hai scelto di studiare italiano? Why did you pick Italian? Sono cresciuto in Nuovo Messico e non, non parlo spagnolo perfetto. Ma quando io sento l'italiano è una lingua molto bella. Ho pensato che io ho bisogno di imparare l'italiano. Io anche ho pensato che uh, è necessario per il men esercizio mentale. Uh, yeah. Che tipo di esperienza hai avuto nell'ambito delle lingue? So in the language market, so to speak, what did you experience? What were you mostly frustrated with before we met? Oh, Pre-pandemic, I was uh, taking classes at the, uh, at the junior college okay. nearby. Yeah, so in, in person classes? In person. And I, I thought we wasted a lot of time talking about things that weren't necessarily a die and there's too much announcements about what's going on at the, the university and mm -hmm. a lot of unnecessary stuff. Yeah. Well, we would call in Italian comunicazioni di servizio. È mo troppo formale per me. C'erano test. Mm -hmm. Una test in, in un lingua è solo un test della de il mio memorio Corta. Really, my short-term memory, I thought it was what a test of. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not a reflection of, are you learning the language? Mm. That's more a reflection of, uh, did, we, did we give you the right information last week uh, yeah. for you to pass this test? And uh, I, I don't like that. I mean, I, I have multiple degrees I, i don't need another degree especially <laughs> yeah. especially to say he studied italian when i if i can't say a word in a regular if i can't speak italian what good would it have be for me to have a degree in that includes italian It'd be crazy yeah. no absolutely and so you were probably you were probably given a lot of information that you could have learned by heart in preparation for the test and then forgotten the following day. 
as we, oh, I, we all do, right? I think we yeah. can all relate. School years, we just needed to pass a test. We, you know, put our head down and studied for hours. We passed the test and then whoosh, forgot about it. Yeah. Three weeks later, mm -hmm. I mean, I still do that. Three weeks later, I forgot it. Mm -hmm. But here, it's not, you know, because of my academic background, I have to make an A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just unacceptable for me to make anything less than an A. Uh, and that's unnecessary pressure. Yeah, I, I put it on myself. It's self-imposed, mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless, it's there. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't enjoy that very much. I, I still wanted to, to learn the language, and so when I found this class. I I just thought, wow, this is this is working, and I, in my, in my opinion, it really has worked. Tell me a bit more about that. Che cosa ha funzionato? Puoi dirmelo in italiano. You can tell me in English if it gets too technical. Up to you. But what was something new that you learn or that you applied? Io pratico ogni giorno. Benissimo. Uh, la mia italiana. Questo è, era il prima cosa che dico Ludovica. Ogni giorno pratica la sua, il suo italiano. Un po' di italiano ogni giorno. Sì. Almeno un'ora ogni giorno? At least an hour every day? Is your sì, time? sì. Almeno un'ora per giorno. Ora è possibile per me faccio... Uh, un conversazione è molto uh, meglio questo tipo di classe per me e Ludo mi mette a mio agio mm -hmm. e quindi adesso tu riesci a parlare in italiano con um, i proprietari del tuo ristorante con gli amici e riesci ad avere conversazioni su argomenti di ogni giorno giusto? like you can cover everyday topics you can feel kind of comfortable sì um what is the part that you're still struggling with what do you feel like moving forward you still need to improve or tackle since we're looking into the new year mm -hmm. i improve every day i save the chat every day and just the other day i was looking back at the chat from a year ago god a year ago i i, I had so distant in my uh, skill uh, at Italian. And now it's not perfect, but it's so improved in, in a year. I would say there's been a 50% at least mm -hmm. improvement. You in... know, to quantify, we would need to give you a test, and I don't want to put you through that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also not necessary as long as you have that feeling of improvement. Stai migliorando ogni giorno. Stai ti senti più sicuro di te nel parlare, se capisci meglio, right? You're improving your oral expression and also your level of comprehension. That's all we need. And that's what I want to continue to do at the same rate. Tu vieni agli aperitivi due volte a settimana, right? You have two aperitivos per week that you're attending. Yes. And then sometimes you come to those deep dives when we dive deeply into a specific topic, right? Yeah. What was the first one we did? The... Il passato. Il passato prossimo e l'imperfetto. No, no, no. Before that, we did the uh, long workshop that you do. Uh... Oh, the, you are talking about the ICC, the Italian Crash yeah. Course. That's really when it started for me, when I got into the habit mm -hmm. of practicing every day. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I learned a lot in, in the crash course, but probably the most important thing I learned in the crash course was practice every day. We're talking about a course that um, over the span of 10 weeks gives you all the basics when it comes to See. Italian grammar. It's a lot of material. If you only take out of it the, uh, I'll, I'm going to study every day and I'm going to implement little by little what I'm learning, then you can always go back. And that's already a huge victory because you learn mm. how to approach a language. The content will come and, and some people move at a faster pace than others and there is no yeah. set pace. I remember yeah. 
how enthusiastic you were about wanting to study every day. Like it wasn't even a thing to do. It, it was just a practice. Yeah. And as a retired person, you know, you, you need something to do every day besides stay at home. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to go to my my club, my sports club and sit in the cafe. And, and if I'm going to study, which I, I hesitate to call it study, if I'm going to listen to something in Italian or uh, listen to music in Italian or listen to uh, or watch a film. Uh, my partner, she doesn't like uh, to watch this kind of show on TV because mm. she's not studying Italian. And I understand. But uh, at the club, I can just sit in an empty table and turn on my my phone and nobody knows what I'm listening to, mm -hmm. which is fine with me. And, uh, and there are one or two other club members that speak Italian and I mean, they're native Italians. So every now and then I'll, I'll walk up to them and say something, small talk. Uh, Ottimo. Yeah. Quello che yeah. hai detto non è uno studio, right? You said it's not really, I hesitate to call it studying. And I agree with you. It's more of a conscious practice. Consciously be there when you are exposed to Italian, coming through the radio, movies, TV shows, reading a book, uh, audio books, whatever that is. That's yeah. That's just the beauty. You can surround yourself with language, with people that speak the language while you're doing other stuff. If you're working yeah. out anywhere. Yeah. And then I listen to the news in Italian, uh, which is uh, much easier because there the announcers are always, they have perfect pronunciation and mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy to understand the news. Sì, ascolti le notizie per radio o le guardi in televisione? Io guardo in uh, televisione. Usi uh, i sottotitoli? No, non, non per le notizie. Uh, ma quando io vedo una serie uh, uso il uh, sottonote. Sottotitoli? Sott sottotitoli. Sì. sì. E usi i sottotitoli in inglese o in italiano? Uh, in inglese. Um, idealmente, ideally, right? È meglio non avere sottotitoli in inglese. That's going to be your next step. Just sì. if you can turn off the English subtitles, just focus on the Italian subtitles so you have the language match. Sì. And I do that from time to time. I, I, I turn off the English. For instance, in uh, the in the TV program that just we just watched the end of White Lotus, mm -hmm. they were speaking quite a bit uh, of uh, of Italian, and I didn't turn on any subtitles. It was just fun. Quanto hai capito più o meno in percentuale? Just how, about, um, how much? Were you able to understand? Senza sottotitoli. Sì, uh, 70%. Bene, percento. 70%. Mm -hmm. 70. Perfetto. Uh, That's the way for reading books or watching movies or TV shows or, you know, radio shows. Mm. Just how much do you understand without reading transcripts or without having those subtitles is a good way for you to see if that's the right level because i would see. say if you understand around 60 percent or more that's already challenging level but good enough not overwhelming so at least you know what's going on when you start oh, yeah. understanding 90 percent it's probably too easy but you can still make progress with those words that you don't know and you can look them up but yeah yes. 70 percent 70 percent è una buona percentuale bene ti ringrazio per il tuo tempo Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so yeah. much for showing up every week. It's really, it takes commitment and I can tell that you're very passionate. Sono molto, molto contenta di vederti ogni settimana. E ci vediamo l'anno prossimo because we're recording this before New Year's Eve. Sì. What do you say? Did you enjoy our little chat? 
If so, and if you would like to join this loving community, get a chance to work with me and interact with some more wonderful people like the one that you just met today, you will be pleased to know that there is now a more affordable way to do so. I'm launching this new program called 60 over 60. It is wonderful. You should absolutely consider signing up for it. And you're going to find a link in the description of the episode below. Just click on it, get more info, reserve your spot before they run out. And of course, don't hesitate to reach out directly if you have questions. I will see you super soon. And in the meantime, enjoy your week. Ciao, a presto.